back to a late show. Let's say hello to Mr. John Baptiste. John, hello. Are, you, hello. are you as excited as I am about tonight's musical guest? I'm a big fan. I, I, I like that guy. He's he's good. He's <laughs> he's a comer. He is the coming yeah, man, yeah. is what he is. Yeah. Uh, what what song are you doing us uh, tonight from your new album? We are. I'm I'm gonna do. I need you. I, I want to do that because we we need the joy and we need sure. each other, baby. Sure. And it's mm -hmm. packed with it. It's packed with joy, like peanuts in a Snickers bar. Can you give hey. us a little taste? Give us a little tease. Give us audience a little tease of what's coming. Just a little bit, you see. Stick around for Gotta more of that, for everybody. Rest. John Baptiste. Gotta wait for the rest. Yes. You know, folks, every night I scour the diamond market for the shiniest, most topical gems of stories. Then I lovingly arrange and set them into a hand-cast solid 24-karat gold necklace to create for you the Cartier masterpiece. That is my monologue, but sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I get arrested for illegally trading bootleg endangered meat and get sent up for a five spot where me and Spider, who got pinched for his goat fighting ring, scraped together some bottle caps, busted pretzels, and discarded lifesaver candies we found in the infirmary after a jump off, stringing on to some greasy hair we stole from Crusher's ponytail while he was knocked out on his meds, all to create for you the prison craft room choker of news that is my segment. <laughs> Quarantine while. Quarantine while. Cats are just as disloyal as you suspected, a new study suggests, which means we have breaking news. Cats are assholes. In 2015, researchers had dogs see a situation in which a third party would either help their owner or turn their back on them. When the third party spurned the owner's plea for help, the dog seemingly took it personally and tended to avoid taking a treat from them. Whereas in the exact same test, cats showed no preference for people who treat their owners positively over those who behave negatively toward them. Confirmed. Your cat does not have your back. Hey, I notice you've been stabbed in the neck, master. Uh, you mind showing your assailant where the pantry is before you pass out? That tuna can is not gonna open itself. Also, bad news for Bond villains, that cat may turn on you. That's why Q always gives James Bond a pen that also works as a laser pointer. And it brings me to more breaking news. Breaking news. Dogs give a rat's ass if you live or die. Who spurns my nemesis? You do! You got a vendetta! You do what do! Good boy. Quarantine while. The medical director of England's National Health Service has warned against taking Gwyneth Paltrow's COVID advice. Now wait just a vagina candle minute. <laughs> if we can't trust the actor lady who sells Yoni Rocks and J steamers for medical advice, who can we trust? Reese Witherspoon? She doesn't sell anything to jam up my orifices. I guess Draper James sells sunglasses, but why would I jam them where the sun don't shine? It seems Paltrow has been claiming you can relieve COVID effects with dubious treatments like a keto and plant-based diet, lots of coconut aminos, and sugar-free kombucha and kimchi, and intuitive fasting. And if you're wondering what intuitive fasting means, think of it as consciously uncoupling from nutrients. Quarantine while. In meat news, authorities seized nearly 300 pounds of contraband baloney at the southern border. No word on the identity of the baloney cartel's leader. So far, all they know is that he does have a first name, and it's O-S-C-A-R. Now, it's illegal to bring foreign baloney into the U.S., in part due to the risk of transmitting foreign diseases, because if there's one thing people who eat baloney are known for, it's being health conscious. Now, longtime viewers of the Quarantine While super segment, Meanwhile, might be experiencing a strong sense of deja vu because in November of 2019, I noted a similar story. Meanwhile, in meat news, Customs and Border Protection seized 154 pounds of prohibited baloney this week <laughs> at the U.S.-Mexico border crossing in El Paso, Texas. Border Patrol agents seized the meat, but the criminal fled the scene. So authorities are asking the public to be on the lookout for this vehicle. <laughs> Which brings me to my newest quarantine while subsegment, Told You So. Tonight on Told You So, 
Told you so. I warned America about the growing baloney threat, and yet America did nothing. Now it's grown from 154 pounds of prohibited baloney to nearly 300 pounds of contraband baloney. You know what's next? 600 pounds of forbidden baloney. And you don't want to know where they're hiding it. Let me put it this way. You wouldn't want to put a pair of Draper James sunglasses there. Take action, America, because we can either do something now or see all this play out later in the upcoming series, Narcos Deli Counter. We'll be right back with Neil deGrasse Tyson.